Ladies and gentlemen, the graduation ceremony will begin shortly. Please switch off your handphones or put them on silent mode if you haven't done so. We have arranged for official photographers to take photos of all graduations receiving their diplomas. There is no need to come forward to take photographs during the ceremony. I will be inviting you to stand when the academic procession enters and leaves the convention hall. Lastly, dear graduates, please ensure that you have your admission ticket and identity card with you before joining the queue to receive the scroll box on stage. You will be issued with a card, log on ID and password as you leave the stage. Please keep the card as you will need it when you place orders for your photos. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Our guest speaker, Engineer Edwin Q, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. We welcome you to the 53rd graduation ceremony of the Singapore Polytechnic. At this 13th session, 
we will be presenting diplomas and other awards to the graduates from the School of Chemical and Life Sciences. Ladies and gentlemen, our guest speaker this morning is Engineer Edwin Q, Vice President of the Institution of Engineers, Singapore. Engineer Q is the Managing Director of Energia Singapore Private Limited, a global environmental waste to energy, technology and management company. A former nominated Member of Parliament, Engineer Q is currently a Supervisory Board Member of Solar Energy Research Institute of Singapore and Chairman of the Singapore Standards Council. Engineer Q has an Executive MBA from the National University of Singapore and a Bachelor's Degree in Chemical Engineering from the University of Queensland, Australia. He is a Fellow of the Institution of Engineers Singapore, a Fellow of the Institution of Chemical Engineers UK, and a Professional Engineer of the Professional Engineers Board Singapore. It is now my pleasure to invite Engineer Edwin Q to deliver the graduation address. Engineer Q, please. Mr. Tan Chun Chien, Principal and Chief Executive Officer, Singapore Polytechnic. Distinguished guests, parents, graduates, staff of Singapore Polytechnic, ladies and gentlemen, very good morning to all of you. It gives me great pleasure to be here today at the 53rd Singapore Polytechnic graduation ceremony. I applaud all graduates and award winners from the School of Chemical and Life Sciences on your achievements. Three years have gone by. This was the time it took for you graduates to enter this convention center as freshmen for your orientation and for you to exit this same centre as graduates of your diploma courses. Have you made good use of your time here? Well, I certainly hope you have. But whatever the case, those three years are gone. You should cherish those great moments you had in SP and look forward to the next phase of your life. Now, imagine a world without lectures, without tutorials, without examinations, study stresses. Imagine having no lecturers to guide or push you. Imagine taking responsibility for yourself, making your own decisions and facing the consequences of those decisions. This is the world all of you will be stepping into. Welcome to the real world and what they call adulthood. In my talk this morning, I would like to focus on three decisions you may have to make after you leave SP. These are, number one, should I further my studies and do a degree? Number two, should I work in a technical or operational position versus a sales, marketing or business development position? And the last, decision you may have to face is, should I take on an overseas position if offered one? Now all of you will be faced with one or more of these questions 
after you leave here. Please allow me to share my opinion on the pros and cons of each of these questions, and perhaps it may help you rationalize in terms of your decision and making process. First question, should I do a degree? <clears throat> now this subject <clears throat> has been well debated in the press and by our Prime Minister and two other ministers. They have weighed in also in their opinions. I do not intend to join this debate. <clears throat> but want to share with you the processes of approval in terms of the institution of engineers if you want to join it. And also what IES is doing in terms of recognizing engineers and the professionalism of engineers. And perhaps I can touch on my own experience as an engineer, running my own engineering company and looking at employing engineers. As was introduced, I run a waste to energy company uh, and this business involves anaerobic digestion. Um, perhaps some of you understand this, uh, which provides as a product out of the uh, process, biogas and biocompost. In my industry, we look at employing all types of engineers, chemical, electrical, mechanical, and even marine engineers. <clears throat> And I do agree with our PM that there are many routes and options for polygrad after you leave here. Please allow me to elaborate. At IES, or the Institution of Engineers, Singapore, to be accepted to be a full corporate member, you need to have a degree. As a diploma holder, you will you will be accepted as an associate member. Difference between a corporate or full member and an associate member is as an associate member, you have no voting rights and you cannot stand for election. However, after 10 years of working experience as an engineer, you can apply to be upgraded to a full corporate member. To recognize a senior engineer with more than five years of working experience, IES is now looking at registering or certifying engineers as chartered engineers. As a full member or corporate member, you are eligible to apply. At the moment in Singapore, you all probably understand that as for practicing lawyers, you need to go through the bar. For accountants, you need to go through a similar chartership to uh, receive your CPA so that you can practice. But as engineers, we do not currently have a process of recognizing experienced engineers or qualified engineers. So IES believes that this recognition will be a benchmark to help qualified practicing engineers in all sectors get good paying jobs. At the present moment, um, an engineer coming from anywhere within the region can claim he's an engineer because he's got a degree. The degree may not come from a university that is recognized, not in Singapore anyway. But nevertheless, he still gets a job as an engineer and competes with engineers in Singapore who are properly qualified, having degrees from one of our universities. This is something that we hope we can arrest. I think from 
the above examples, you can quickly see that if you want to be working as an engineer and to be recognized as an experienced and qualified engineer and be paid a commensurate salary, you do need a degree. Of course, you do not need to get a degree as soon as you leave here. But as you progress in your career, especially if you are in the engineering sector, you will need a degree because you will need to be recognized as such. As an employer and as an engineer, and I've been in the business for over 30 years, if I want a hands-on engineer, I would employ a polygrad and then train him and sponsor him to get a degree. After a few years of experience on the job and with a degree, I'm sure I will get a well-rounded engineer in terms of his ability to design, operate, and maintain all the plants that I build and operate. Now, I gave my son the same advice many years ago when he came to me and he asked me that I want to be an engineer. What would you recommend I do? Go to university or go to poly? He did his triple E in Neon Poly and then went directly to UMIST to finish off his degree in two years. That is because I could afford to send him overseas, but that is definitely not the only route or option. Today, there are many routes and even an entrepreneurial route where you may not need a degree in engineering, but perhaps one in business management um, or an MBA. So, my personal advice is whichever route you select, you'll need to consider getting a degree as competition is keen today and it will get keener. So to be recognized in this global environment, you need a recognized degree. The IES Chartered Engineer will be mutually recognized when it's finally set up um, within ASEAN, UK, Australia initially, and we are looking at expanding the recognition throughout Europe, USA, and the rest of Asia. To be practicing as an engineer today, you'll find that it's borderless. And I think as engineers, you will be able to practice wherever because you can add value to whoever's going to employ you. But firstly, you need to have something they can actually recognize in terms of your basic qualification. Now I come to my second point. <clears throat> um, do I do go into the technical and operations uh, line or do I go into sales, marketing and business development? Many engineers are confronted with this when they are fresh grads. I was confronted with the same question when I was a fresh grad. I was offered a job with ExxonMobil. In those days, it was known as Mobil um, in their refinery. And I was also offered a sales job with an American chemical company. I took the sales job. And here is my rationale. I could not imagine myself going day in, day out to office, to a job that requires me to 
monitor a plant in the system to operate it optimally. To me, that was a little bit boring and I relish more going out, meeting people, understanding the systems that they had and providing them solutions. <clears throat> now, of course, in those days, a company, a large MNC like Exxon and Exxon Mobil, as, uh, Exxon as they're called today, did not tell me that as part of the training, they would look at moving you around within the organization, including sending you to the sales and marketing department. So, <clears throat> I think what I'm trying to say is you need to know yourself what you would like to do. What you would like to do day in, day out. Not because of peer pressure or what other people tell you. If you were a person who prefers to work in the background to operate equipment and machine, operate a plant, um, and do designs for the plant, that means you like detailed work, then I would recommend fully that you take on a technical job that allows you to bring that quality and the interest that you have to full fruition. Work at it and be the best that you can. Alternatively, if you like to do research and break new boundaries, then I think you should aim and do a PhD and go into R&D. In sales and business development, marketing, you need to be technically competent. You need to convince your customers technically why your product or your system is better than your competitors. Now, if you relish competition, you relish beating your competitor in getting the job, then I think sales and marketing technical sales and marketing is the area that I think you will do best. At the end of the day, both these paths, depending on your ability, would lead you to senior management and perhaps to the top position of CEO. Because there's no hard and fast rule which is the better route to take. But I think you need to understand what your own strengths are and make that decision. You'll find in the newspaper today an uh, IT dropout by the name of David Karp. He just sold his company, Tumblr, for 1.1 million US, billion US. He was a high school dropout, but he was really interested and appreciated computers. His parents could see that, and they took him out from high school because he was not happy being there. So passion, interest, is what drives you to be good in your job. Finally, I want to cover this subject of overseas posting. Should I go overseas or should I stay back in Singapore? I was at a Spring Lead Forum. This is a forum held by Spring once a year where they invite heads of associations like myself and many, many CEOs from industry to attend. One of the keynote speakers was Mr. Liu Manliang. I think many of you know him as a former 
CEO of Capital Land, and also the chairman of the Changi Airport Group. He shared with all of us that when he looks at promotions within Capital Land, he values a person who has spent time overseas. His own successor was the CEO of Capital Land looking after the China business. He was there for 12 years. So I would therefore recommend that you have an opportunity of taking on an internship overseas, offered a position overseas, you should consider seriously in taking up the offer. Even though a completely domestic education and employment allows you to learn much, I strongly feel that obtaining an overseas exposure and staying there for a period allows you to learn and experience more at a faster rate and gives you an edge versus those who actually stay in Singapore and visit periodically the country. Away from your familiar home environment, you are forced to think, adapt, improvise, overcome many challenges you will meet whilst you are there. Some of you, I've learned, are already indeed fortunate to have experienced learning and living via internships in various corners of the world, from Dalian Polytechnic University in China to Oxford University in UK and to my own alma mater, the University of Queensland in Australia. I can at least personally share similar experiences with those of you who have spent some time at UQ, being a chemical engineer alumni there. Brisbane and St. Lucia brings back many good memories and challenges, and my years in boarding school and then to UQ allowed me to learn things and life that has put me in many advantageous positions in my own working life back here. I'd like to end by quoting from Nachman of Breslov. Nachman was a wise rabbi who has written many quotes to inspire, motivate, and challenge. And I quote, if you won't be better tomorrow than you were today, then what do you need tomorrow for? I want to therefore challenge all of you to stretch yourself, keep reading, asking questions, talking to interesting people, working hard, exposing yourself to new experiences. You may not see success today or tomorrow, but it will come. And frankly, success is more of a journey than a destination. I extend my heartiest congratulations on the successful completion of your studies at Singapore Polytechnic, and I wish each of you success in your career and further studies. Thank you very much. Thank you, Engineer Q. Ladies and gentlemen, we will be begin the presentation of diplomas to the graduates. This morning, we will be presenting diplomas and other awards to 345 graduates from the School of Chemical and Life Sciences. May I now call upon the Director of the School of Chemical and Life Sciences, Dr. Adrian Yeo, to present the diplomas. Dr. Yeo, please.
Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the graduates from the Diploma in Chemical Engineering. <laughs> Brendan Mark Botville. <laughs> Chiu Shu Ying. <laughs> Lim Kai En. Muhammad Shazwan bin Salam <laughs> Teo Chu Siong <laughs> Wu Chu <Chih> Sin <laughs> Yo Chan Fei Abdul Hakim bin Abu Bakar Abdul Halim bin Noyazid Abdul Rahman Afiq Yadi bin Samani Benjamin Tan Tse Yang Chan Ying Hao Dillon Chang Kai Sun Chi Kai Li Sherry Tan Tie Ying Chin Chi Heng Chua Etzel Ron Chua Pei Jing Daniel Yi Jun Da Darren Go Tong Wei Daman Harish Rupawala Divya Premdas I. I. Kain Eunice Xiao Fonseca Sarah N. Go Cheng Han Go Wei Yuan Guo Ding Shun Hafian Bin Roslan Hugh Kit Yi Ho Tia Sheng Elvin Ho Ming Dao Elvin Joey To Tia Yi
Jonan Wong Chun En. Justina Bong Lin Kai Kalai Chelvin, son of Vira Mani Ki Jian Yang Matthias Kelvin Lim Jun Siang Kelvin Tionadi Owen Ko Wei Yang Lee Chia Hong Jordan Lee Ming Han Lee Wen Tong Lee Wen Yong Leonard Wan Wei Ping Leong Jia Sheng Jason Liu Kuang Yuan Elias Lim Auntie Angie Lim Bun Kai Frederick Lim Chu Hui Lim Chun Li Raphael Lim Li Ping Lim Pei Wen Lim Tian Yuan Lim Shi Ya Lim Wei Jie Lim Yu Li Kelvin Lim Yun Feng Jonathan Lin Yuan Wen Leong Chun Xiang Muhammad Fatli bin Muhammad Hassan Muhammad Fatli bin Johari Muhammad Farhan bin Rosli Muhammad Farman bin Malib Muhammad Khairul Zaman bin Muhammad Aman Neo Shi Jue Jordan Ng Li Ting Ng Wei Jie
Wang Yan Ni. Eng Chan Hao. Nuridin bin Ithnin. Nurul Akila bin T. Rosli. Ong Tian Sheng Andrew. Ong Sing Hong. Ong Shu Yun. Pam Chen Xiang. Baek Yong Kang. Pereira Teresa Roderica. Kutap Khan Bin Zohar. Rekha Das, daughter of Prem Das. S. Ramanujan. Saravana Kajesva, son of Govindaraju. Sun Wan Chen. So Pei Yu Sean Lung Tian Wei Sit Ting Wen Sun Wei Long Sui Jie Bin Tan Chong Chi Tan Sing Xuan Tan Chi Chao K. Yu Ke Jen K. Wen Yu K. Wei Rong Brian K. Li Hui Tong Cheng Xuan Tudor Voiku Wong Wei Fung Kenny Yu Yao Long Joshua Yu Ya Zukisti Asaat bin Saat Ladies and gentlemen, the graduates for the Diploma in Food Science and Technology Chi Jun Lam
李湘琪。Neil Guarong Edmund, Yue Hui Min, Andrew Hadinata Lai, Chan Bao Sheng. Chan Shui Geraldine, Chang Yuan Kai, Chia Yu Feng, Chen Hui Jin. Cheryl Liu Yiting, Chia Jin Kiet, Chia Wen Tong, Chong Yan Kang. Chua Jia Hui, Clarinto Kai Ning, Daniel Ke Sheng Rong, David Li Chu Xiang. Evelyn Ao Lai Ling, Fu Chuan Yang Florence, Go Guo Wei, Heather Li Jia Min. Jessica Lestari, Jolene Ho Chien Yi, Ko Ming Yang, Lai Yi Lin Hanna. Liao Choi Janelle, Li Hui Ting, Li Jun Tei, Li Ka Chun. Lim Jia Ting Darius, Lim Lei Xuan, Lim Pei Jun, Lo Xin Rui. Liu Jingwen, Mandy Tay Sin Ying,
New Yining. Nicholas Ho Wei Liang. Nurul Khalisa binti Mazlan. Ong Hui Han. Ong Kian Xiang. Ong Wan Mei. Oriana Zhang Rui Shi Phoebe Tan Hui Min Radiatu Madia Binti Othman Rafida binti Suban Regina Lim Li Hui Reshmi Menon Xia Sin Lin Hazel Shijia Xia Ka Yi So Jin Chen So Jin Ru Tan He Ying Tan Tie Ying Tan Si En Tiara Tan Xiao Ping Tio Yu Ran Tio Yu Xiang Vivian Sun Hui Yi Wang Jie Min Wee Sheng Yi Wong Tian Yi Cheryl Wong Yong Hung Xiong De Xuan Zhang Jun He Zoe Chua Jia Rong Ladies and gentlemen, the graduates for the Diploma in Material Science Jennifer N. Li Ling Ko Kyon Sin Ken
Andy Puan Chun Kit. Belverin Tung. Chia Jia En Stella. Chia Tai Wei Eugene. Ching Fan Yong. Chong Wei Huat Hensley. Chua Pei Ting. Chua Shu Fen. Chua Yun Kim. Darren Chong Shun Hao. Dennis Lin Ching Siong. Gayatri, daughter of Velasami. Geraldine Yo Li Yi. Hamiza Binti Hassan. Inez Kwek Jing Lin. James Lim Jun Tse. Jesse Lo Tie Si. Juliana Lim Shi Yu. Kao Kok Yong. Khadija Binti Muhammad Qasim. Lee Di Sheng Dixon. Lee Ting Tie Jasmine. Lim Jing Xiang. Liao Hui Ming Adeline. Lo Pei Shan. Melvin Ang Ming Chun. Muhammad Elias bin Rashid. Muhammad Yaya, son of Muhammad Elias. Muhammad Dwi Abi Rafdi. Muhammad Shahid bin Muhammad Wada. Ng Chun Tech Melvin. Ng Pui Lin. Ng Ting Yang. Norwada Binti Muhammad. Nofasiha Binti Muhammad.
no Natasha Afika Binte Atnan. Nuru Shahidayu Binte Abdul Wahid. Pang Tiwe Clinton. Pua Yen Ru Idria. Quek Sin Lin. Saranyan, daughter of Panya Selvam. Xia Feng Yuan. Xia Xin Yi. So Chao Chuan. Su Ngai Chung Damien Shakila Binti Muhammad Salim Tan Juo Yen Te Mei Tan Tio Shi Wei Tim Ye Gao Ming Timothy Yap Siu Ming Tong Shan Wen Ladies and gentlemen, the graduates for the Diploma in Nutrition, Health and Wellness. Ko Jing Jing. Quan Xiu Chin. Eileen Ling Yue Hin. Brian Chia Jun Xiong Buan Pei Shi Beatrice Chang Mei Ling Che Chi Wei Jomain Chiam Kia Yen Chua Sing Ting Emily Felicia Kwa Wan Lin Go Sir Un Hazika Binte Haron Karen Chia Yun Yun Quan Chao Rong Aloysius Lam Wan Chen Lia Ho Chen Wei Lim Jun Wei Liao Hui Shi
Liana binti Basri Serega. Mavis Ong Mei Hui. Muhammad Fairuz bin Suaf. Nofat Zila binti Abdul Rahim. No Arina binti Shapandi. No Fahana binti Sulaiman. No Suaiba binti Ngaiman. Nora Fida binti Said. Nurul Atika binti Rosli. Nurul Nadia binti Abdul Samad. Ong Li Yen. Paul Rinker Quack. Po Yu Ting Shamin. Xiao Pei Ti Peggy. Shafi bin Hussein. Song Pei Ying. Tan Yi Li To Sin Yi Wong Wai Kit Rebecca Yu Yi Sheng Zahira binti Ibrahim Ladies and gentlemen, the graduates for the Diploma in Perfumery and Cosmetic Science Chan Hui Shu Vanessa Chen Dan Chong Jun Yi Chua Jia Lun Chua Wen Zhe Clarissa Lim Shi Ti Don Tio Tie Ying Eunice Yi Sin Ying Felicia Sugihato Candy Go choose sweat Joey Grace Choi Wei Mei
Jessica Wan Mayer's shop. Kang Hui. Khairul Anwar bin Abdul Latif. Ko Li Ching. Ko Kia Hui Rebecca. Ko Tian Lak. Lim Shirlin Ng Chen Pei Ong Sin Yi Shani Leong Shui Yi Siti Nohana binti Hamsani Tan Ziming Te Ru En Tio Ming Jiao Tio Man Ling Tio Fei Yun Tham Wan Ni Sen Yu Wen Yu Yi Tian Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes the list of graduates from the School of Chemical and Life Sciences. Thank you, Dr. Yeo. Ladies and gentlemen, we will now present the prizes. May I invite Mr. Te Tan Chun Sien, Principal and Chief Executive Officer of Singapore Polytechnic, to present the prizes. Mr. Tan, please. From the Diploma in Chemical Engineering course, the Institution of Chemical Engineers Award, Ivan Cheng Jia Sing. The Tuagose Singapore Award, Li Zi Ling. The Adventist Farmer Manufacturing Award, Sim Sujin. The Petrochemical Corporation of Singapore Merit Award, Wee In Bin. From the Diploma in Food Science and Technology course, the Shimazu Asia-Pacific Award, 
Adeline Chong Hui Shan. The, TPC, the DPS Engineering Award, the Singapore Institute of Food Science and Technology Come Rinto Scholarship, and the Wang Fung Foodstuff Suppliers Award, Gan Shi Xuan. The ALS Technicam Award, Jivitra Gunasagaran. From the Diploma in Materials Science course, the Techno Apex Asia Award, Ho Kin Ho. The DPS Engineering Award, Lee Hyang Wee. From the Diploma in Nutrition, Health and Wellness course, the Osteoporosis Society Singapore Award, Chan Ya Ling. The Singapore Nutrition and Dietetics Association Award, Isabel Yang Chai Yun. The Wang Fung Foodstuff Suppliers Award, Janani, daughter of K. Rajan. The DPS Engineering Award, Li Jia Chin. The Nico Chemicals Singapore Award and the Purec Asia Pacific Award, Eileen Chu Yu Min. That concludes the presentation of prizes. Thank you, Mr. Tan. Ladies and gentlemen, we will now present medals of our top graduates for excelling in their courses of study. May I invite Engineer Edwin Q, Vice President of the Institution of Engineers Singapore, to present the medals. Engineer Q, please. From the Diploma in Chemical Engineering course, the Grunfors Silver Medal is awarded to Joachim Su Yong Xuan. The Shell Singapore Gold Medal, the DPS Engineering Award, the Singapore Chemical Industry Council Award, and the Institution of Engineers Singapore Prize are awarded to Ng Pei Ling. From the Diploma in Food Science and Technology course, the Kikoman Singapore Silver Medal, the Nairo Award, and the Taihua Food Industries Award are awarded to Audrey Go Shui Chen. The Singapore Food Manufacturers Association Gold Medal is awarded to Ko Huan Rong.
from the Diploma in Materials Science course, the Plastics and Rubber Institute of Singapore Silver Medal is awarded to Ng Ming Xuan. The Institute of Materials East Asia Gold Medal is awarded to Wei Chong Yi. From the Diploma in Nutrition Health and Wellness course, the Emden Silver Medal is awarded to Li Hui Bing. The Singapore Food Manufacturers Association Gold Medal is awarded to Jesslyn Wee Tia En. From the Diploma in Perfumery and Cosmetic Science course, the Nadef Kemi Silver Medal is awarded to Oliviana. The following graduate was awarded the Chua Chao Take Gold Medal in the first session of the graduation ceremony. Today, the Lubrizol Gold, the Shell Companies in Singapore Prize Medal, the Ajinomoto Singapore Award, the Crowder Singapore Award, the Procter and Gamble Singapore Award, and the Tayton Award are awarded to Alethea Joy Han Hui En. That concludes the presentation of top medals. Thank you, Engineer Q. Ladies and gentlemen, Giving the valedictory speech this morning is Janani, daughter of K. Rajan, a graduate from the course of Diploma in Nutrition, Health and Wellness. May I now call upon Janani to deliver the farewell address on behalf of the new graduates. Janani, please. Guest speaker, Mr. Edwin Q, Principal and CEO, Mr. Tan Chun Chien, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I started my freshman year as a shy person with self-esteem issues. I was so shy that my Facebook profile picture was that of Nicole Scherzinger from the Pussycat Dolls. I hope you can see the resemblance. But SP has given me many opportunities to improve my communication skills and to build my self-confidence in the process. Let me take this opportunity to share with you the lessons I learned over the three years here. The first lesson I learned was confidence is key. I still remember my first presentation. My voice shook so badly that it was a wonder I even got through the session. But with the many opportunities to present at SP, my self-confidence really grew. And today, it is my great honor and pleasure to address all of you. Another lesson I learned was to not be afraid of taking chances in life. Even though singing was my passion, I never had the confidence to participate in any singing competition as I was so shy. But last year, my friends persuaded me to join the group category of the CLS Talent Time and we took home the top prize. <laughs> this
This experience helped me discover my abilities and made me realize I should not dismiss any opportunities that come my way. Thus, when I had the chance to go on a community service trip to Cambodia with other CLS students, I jumped at the opportunity. In Cambodia, we participated in the rice soup feeding program, serving bowls of porridge to children and playing fun games with them. One little girl in particular touched me greatly. She was very protective of her baby sister and fed her before eating any of the rice soup herself. Her deep sense of responsibility, love and selflessness taught me the importance of appreciating and treasuring the people around me. Now, I wish to show my appreciation to our CLS lecturers. Without your passion and dedication to your careers and your unending support and guidance, we definitely won't be here. Thank you, my classmates, for your friendship and support throughout the three years. We shared many awesome memories, including the time we belted out Bruno Mars' Just The Way You Are, completely out of tune. Finally, I would like to thank my family members, including my grandparents, for their love, constant support and encouragement. I am truly blessed to have such a wonderful family who is always there for me. Let me leave you with a quote from Marie Curie. Life is not easy for any of us, but what of that? We must have perseverance and above all, confidence in ourselves. We must believe we are gifted for something and that this thing must be attained. Congratulations, CLS graduates of 2013. We did it! Thank you, Janani. Ladies and gentlemen, the graduation ceremony is now adjourned. May I invite all to stand? The procession groups will now leave the convention hall.
Thank you for your patience. Please join us for the tea reception at the plaza outside the convention centre. May I invite parents and guests to leave the convention centre first. Please ensure you have taken your belongings with you. Have a good day.